Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 survival horror game series and in today's video we are going to be continuing on with the game and what I want to do on today's episode is essentially set up a bunch of instructional UI pop-ups that the player will receive at the beginning of the game. So if you take a quick look in my heads up display photoshop document here you can see I've got some little arrows on the side that just say flashlight power shown here and then I'm also going to have a series of pop-ups and a series of icons that come up on the screen which will essentially be showing the player, you know, not showing the player, but telling the player exactly how to use the controls of the game. So if you have a look, you've got one that says flashlight uh, power shown here, I'm going to have one for stamina and I'm also going to have one for hunger. So basically what I want to do is pretty much make it easier for the player to control the game so they know exactly which buttons do which and you know sort of the main objectives. So if you take a quick look in the bottom right here, I've just added a little few notes here just in the order of the you know, the sequence of UI pop-ups I'm going to have. So the first one that I'm going to have is food. I feel like that's the most important aspect of our game mechanics, so I'm going to get that to come up first. And that's just going to say find food to stay alive and try not to die, I guess. And the second one is going to be sprint, so that's just going to be telling them to press shift if they want to sprint, and they've got their stamina bar up in the top, le top left hand corner. And then we're also going to have our flashlight, which is pretty much just going to be telling the player to toggle F on and off pretty much for the flashlight and they've got their little flashlight bar on the top left hand corner as well. And then the last one that I'm going to have as well is objectives found in top right. So I'm just going to have, tell, I'm also going to have another arrow going up to the top telling the player that they, are, they have got their objectives at the top right hand corner of the screen and to complete the game they need to pretty much complete those objectives I guess. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm actually going to do here is I am going to create a new blueprint widget once again. So just go into my content browser, third person BP, go down to blueprints and once we're there we can proceed to create that widget. So just right click anywhere you like and just press in the content browser anyway, press user interface, widget blueprint, from here you can name it whatever. I'm just going to call this instructional widget and inside of this instructional widget we're going to have to import a whole bunch of different images from our photoshop document and we're also going to have to set up a couple of animations well one animation really but with a whole bunch of different elements so we're going to try and do that today for you so let's proceed and get in here so the first one that i'm going to do is going to be my food then so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the elements for the food. So if you look at the Photoshop document that I have got, um, if you don't have it in, if you don't have it on your computer already or the latest version, I definitely advise you to go ahead and download it in the download link in the description. From here you can see we've got an icon for the food and there's also going to be a bit of text. It looks a little bit distorted in the document at the moment because we've got a couple different layers. But what we need to do, we pretty much need to export out that little food icon. Uh, which is the, you know the knife and the fork and a little circle around it so go ahead and select that make sure you don't have any feathering or anything silly like that make the selection again so control D to deselect that and then just go ahead and find the layer so for me I've got to try and find what that is so I've got to try and find I might have to go through a couple of these to actually find it shape one no that's not it so keep going down until you do actually find it so here we are food Toggle that on and off, that's all good. Select that layer with it, with it selected, press Ctrl C. Create a new image from Photoshop. And then just use the clipboard settings for now and just go ahead and press create. Don't forget if you don't have Photoshop, all of the information, all of the pictures that you are going to need is going to be down in the description below. So as, it, as of right now, you can see it's coming out green, which is sort of how the image was before I actually made any changes to it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to quickly put the color overlay on there again. I'm going to make sure that comes out in white. Once I've done that, just go ahead and press OK. Delete the background layer. And then I'm just going to save this as a PNG file, making sure that it is in the right folder. Same folder as all of our normal stuff, so I'm just going to chuck it in here, and I'm going to call this Food UI Icon. Make sure you export it out as a PNG file as well, just so that you can get the transparency in there. Once you've done that, open up your engine again, and we are going to have to import that into our content browser. So just go into your textures, uh, textures area, and then you just pretty much drag and drop it in just like normal. So food UI icon, drag and drop just like that. 
and then we should get our icon. From here we can go into our widget again and we can import it in. So go to image, drag that in, go ahead and click on the image, scroll down until you find brush and then with the food UI icon selected just go ahead and press it in and you will have it just like that. Cool. So next thing we need to do we need to add the text for it. It is a slightly different colour so we need to make sure we change that first of all. So we are going to change this to this cool sort of yellowy orange that we have here and we're going to go ahead and press OK and you can type anything you like into there to you know make it whatever you want but for me my instruction for the player is simply going to be find food to stay alive and then after that we're going to have another little pop-up which pretty much a little arrow top left hand corner showing where the hunger bar is so let's go ahead and do that so I'm going to scroll down in my settings here and I'm going to find that wherever that is so text and I'm going to change this to find food to stay alive and there we are and I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger as well just like that and if you wanted to you can play around with the font as well I'm just gonna double quick uh, check quickly to see what font I'm actually using in my heads up display and it's that feast of flesh font font that we have been using you know throughout the rest of the series So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I've got that applied to it as well so just scroll down find font if you've already imported feast of flesh it should be just waiting there for you and go ahead and do that and I'm gonna make this roughly around the center of the screen just above so the player can nice and easily see it and I'm also going to go ahead and sort out my icon here I'm just going to click it to move it you know pretty much in line with the text and I'm going to sort out the proportions as well because it was a little bit off so just make that square and that should look just fine cool so that looks all good to me so the first thing that I'm going to do now that we've actually got this on here I want to test that this is actually going to be displayed on the screen at the beginning of the level and I'm going to be doing this through the level blueprint so when the level is first loaded these instructional pop-ups will come up on this screen in the same sort of way that we did for some of the other elements we create the widget and we add it to the viewport so let's go ahead and do that so go to blueprints open level blueprint and instead of doing it on some kind of event the event we're going to be using this time is going to be on construct or begin play so you can see we've got that so basically what this is going to do is going to fire off whatever we tell it to do as soon as the player actually begins the level so I'm going to drag this out and I'm just going to type in create widget from this as for the class we're going to make sure we set this to the name of whatever we set the instructional stuff to so for me that was instructional widget and I'm going to hook that up just like that and as for return value, drag that out and just type in add to viewport and hopefully this should add it onto the player screen. Now when we test this it will display on the screen for pretty much forever for the player um, but that's not really going to be too big of an issue for us as of right now because we're going to be using the animation to get rid of it. But you can see here on my screen it says find food to stay alive. It's coming up on the screen, it's about the right size that we're going to need so that is work looking good. Going back into the blueprint, we are going to go down to blueprints and we are just going to go ahead and find that if we can. Instructional widget, we need to make sure that we center this now. So we are going to grab the widget and in terms of alignment, we are going to make sure this is 0, 0, that's got to be good. And anchors, we are going to anchor it to the center of the screen and it's going to show us the center of the screen is pretty much just here. So I'm going to move that a little bit to the right of the center and just above and chuck it in there. And there we are. So we're going to go compile that, save it, and let's go ahead and press play just to make sure it is actually in the center now. And that's looking good. So we need to do the same thing for the icon as well, just to make sure that's centered too. So anchors, center, compile, close, and save. And there we are. It's in the middle of the screen, and that is great. So now we just need to add the elements for the other objects now. So if we go into our Photoshop document, Next one for the player is going to be Sprint. So we are going to do the same thing to export out the Sprint icon. We are just going to get the little selection thing and go over it, making sure we have got the right layer selected as well. So we are going to go and find the Sprint icon, wherever that is, flashlight power shown here, objective. I should really name these, but I'm a little bit lazy. So there we are, I've, selected, I've got it there, it's layer free. And I'm just going to click over it, select it, Make sure I've got the layer selected, I'm going to press Ctrl C to copy it, I'm going to press File New, and I'm going to use the clipboard settings 47 pixels by 53 pixels, and I'm going to press Create. 
and then I'm just going to control C, control, uh, just control V to paste it in. From here, once again, we are going to use the color overlay just to make sure this is going to be white and uh, white for the player. Delete the background layer, and once again, we're going to export it out, making sure that it's a PNG file. So, once we've done that, just go ahead and save it in the same space, and we are going to call this Sprint UI Icon. That is perfect, and we just need to go and import it into the engine. Same place as before, we are going to chuck it into our textures folder. Just find the icon in your sort of file browser on your computer, wherever it may be. So that is Sprint UI icon. I am going to click and drag, get it in there just like that. And while we're here, I'm also going to do the same thing now for the other, other stuff that we might need. So I'm going to do that for our flashlight as well. So I'm going to find my flashlight layer so I can get that icon and I'm also going to do the same thing for the little uh, arrow as well because that's not something we can generate in the engine. So I'm going to find my flashlight wherever that may be. So flashlight looks like it's there. Now we just need to find the image for it. Flashlight icon that is perfect. Select it. Control C to copy it and new, new file again clipboard settings, gonna press create. You guys will be able to skip all of this stuff because you won't actually need to do all of this because I've already exported it out for you. It's gonna be in the latest version of the survival horror game project files down in the description and I'm gonna make sure I change that to white once again. Now the reason that I want to do this on video is just because I want you guys to understand just how easy it is to do this kind of stuff, take things out from a Photoshop document and bring it into the engine, and I also want you guys to understand the process of doing it as well. So I have got that I've got that there, that's fine. Export this out. Same thing again. PNG, I'm gonna call this flashlight UI icon PNG file save last one we need to do then is just the little arrow to tell the player where each thing is so control C on that make sure I've got the right layer as well so let's see if I can find the arrow at least you guys won't have to find all these layers like I did so let's see if I can find that directional arrow there we are we've got it control C Control V, so new layer once again, chuck it in there, delete that, once again I'm going to have to do my color overlay because it's not moving everything over with all the blending options that I will have applied in the document, set it to white, that's all good, and here we are. So we're going to call this arrow UI icon save and let's go ahead and get all of these into the engine now go into your textures folder and just go ahead and import that so the ones that we haven't done so we've got sprint in there and we've got food so we are going to need the flashlight and we are also going to need the arrow wherever that is have i not exported that out i will find there it is yep so i'm going to drag and drop those in there and i'm also going to chuck these into my widget as well so blueprint Instructional widget, there you are, and once again we're just going to create a whole bunch of different images, one, two, three, yep, three should be enough for now, and I'm going to go ahead and just set the brushes on there, so this one is going to be sprint, this one is going to be flashlight, and this one is going to be the arrow arrow UI icon that is perfect that is looking good we need to play around with some of the positioning and that kind of stuff um, but for now let's just focus on getting all the elements that we need and in the next video uh, we are going to be continuing this on we're going to start setting up the animation and all of that kind of stuff so the next piece of text that I'm going to add is the sprint and the flashlight as well so for the sprint we are going to set the text for this to press S no, not S, press shift to sprint. And flashlight, it's going to be press F to toggle flashlight. Make sure we change the color on this as well. Just grab color and opacity. Use the little picker tool to get the same color as we did before. Do the same thing on this one as well. Color and opacity, just like that. 
there we are drag it out so we can read all the text that we need to and just make sure you change the font on that as well so feast of flesh Feast of Flesh, there we are, looking good, looking good. So, and there is going to be one more bit. But for now, we've got all of our elements in the instructional widget that we need. So that is pretty much everything that I'm going to be doing in this video. Make sure that you check out the next video where we're actually going to be setting up the animation. So we're going to be removing all of these when the when it first comes on. We're going to be flashing, find food to stay, stay alive the little arrow pointing towards the food icon, and then so on and so forth. So that is everything, thanks for watching, make sure you comment, like and subscribe, make sure you share the video, share the love, and as always guys, make sure you keep on creating, and I will see you next time, goodbye.